Today is July 30th, 2024. It is the 50th birthday or anniversary of the first appearance of Wolverine from July 30th, 1974. And this is the comic book that came out today on his 50th birthday. What if Donald Duck became Wolverine? Uh, my nephew first posted a preview of this comic cover on Facebook many months ago. And uh, I thought, well, wasn't something I would have been interested in, but he seemed interested in it. So I asked him, are you going to get this? And he says, uh, I forget what he said, but you know what? I don't think he got it. Anyways. Cool story, bro. Let's see what's inside. So let's get the bad guy, Pete. I believe that is the uh, modern interpretation of Peg Leg Pete, who was a Mickey Mouse villain dating all the way back to Steamboat Willie, I believe, which has now gone into public domain. Okay, so Mickey Mouse is Hawkeye. Pete's skull, why is he called Pete's skull? Oh, he's dressed like the Red Skull and, and he's red. Okay, so it's the Weapon X headgear and uh, bath that he was in, but this is supposed to be something that makes Donald not angry anymore. Goofy Hulk, and he's the Gray Hulk. Oh, okay, it's actually uh, when he was Mr. Fix-It, teamed up with uh, Wolverine when he was called Patch. There's the eye patch. Donald Patch and Mr. Goofy Fix It. This is really lame. The Staples. So I'm halfway through. I haven't laughed yet. Am I supposed to? It's drawn nice. Oh, okay. So there he is, green, when he's the Green Hulk and Wolverine, because this was Wolverine's first appearance in a Hulk comic out in the woods. The Canadian woods, see, leads to Toronto. Okay, so now they're recounting the tale of Giant Size X-Men number one, which is when Wolverine returned after his first appearance in the Hulk. Now he's a member of the new X-Men, or as they call him, X-Ducks. Pluto Colossus, the monster of Dakoa Island. I, I feel kind of stupid for reading this. Is this even funny for toddlers? A whole team of adults made this. They couldn't have enjoyed it. I like stupid childish things. Why am I not enjoying this? Oh, Scrooge McDuck. Y you know what? I think it's because I don't really like Disney characters. Maybe that's what it is. The end. Okay. What a non-event. Not for me. Sorry. So let's check out the actual first appearance of Wolverine. This is a... Uh, what do you call it? It's a reprint. The Incredible Hulk issue 181. And now, the Wolverine. That's th that's what it's called. A facsimile edition. The Hulk has been lured to Quebec, Canada. Heads up, Harry's. The Wolverine is coming through. Can you imagine Hugh Jackman saying that? Huh? Little man attacks Hulk? That's about the size of it, Sonny. The government sent me to take care of you, Hulk, and I'm a gent who always does his job. <laughs> Stand still, little man, or Hulk will smash. Look at the nose on the Wendigo. So goofy looking. There's a, check out that nose. Oh my God, what a schnoz. Is he part anteater? So they establish his diamond hard adamantium claws right from the get go but they can't pierce the Hulk's emerald hide. So he immediately attacks the Wendigo. Why not put the Wendigo in one of the new Marvel movies? So they say Wolverine is five foot five, which is a bit shorter than Hugh Jackman, who I think is like six two. Oh, Wendigo is bigger than the Hulk. Oh look, they reprinted the ads. It's pretty cool. So the Hulk has immediately teamed up with Wolverine because Wolverine attacked Wendigo, and I guess Wendigo was the Hulk's enemy, because Hulk's stupid. The Hulk did his best, but it just wasn't good enough, so it's up to me to finish this little Donnybrook and fast. Donnybrook. More retro ads. Kung Fu, Karate. Ha! Little friend did good. You smashed ugly Wendigo once, and now Wendigo is dead. Okay, so 
then Wolverine goes back to attacking the Hulk because that's what he was sent to do by the Canadian government. Canadian government. Karate, judo, savant, jujitsu. Or you could learn accounting. What a weird name, Georges. His name is Georges. Like he's several George. I like this. The Just the way Hulk looks so stout. The Muscle Fighter 4 plan is not recommended for those who are not perfectly fit. Oh, Georges turned into the Wendigo. Must have taken the curse from her brother. Ah, uh, true love. Canadian love. What happened to the Wolverine? Not much of a first appearance, huh? So this came out in 1986. Very long time ago. At least like five years. This reprints Hulk issues 180 and 181. They are represented here for the first time. <laughs> that nose. This is just really goofy looking. And that was it. Okay, so this is how the comic ended. And if you really want to tangle with someone, why not try your luck against the Wolverine? Well, now you know what, er, who Weapon X is, Faithful One. He is a living, raging powerhouse who's bound to knock you back on your emerald posterior. And then right back into the reprint we just looked at. Of course, it's shorter because they didn't reprint the ads. And what's this? Wolverine and Hercules, originally presented in Marvel Treasury Edition number 26. Wolverine holds his own, knocks Hercules down. I mean, really? Jazzy John Romita designing the costume. Roy Thomas came up with the name, the Wolverine. And so that would have been the cover of issue 180. But since we just looked at uh, Marvel's Hercules, this comic also came out today. Hercules and Thor arm wrestling as painted by Alex Ross. This is a recreation of uh, an older classic cover. Deadpool and Wolverine. Well, the Deadpool and Wolverine movie is in theaters right now. See, there it is. When I saw this comic cover in the, in the previews magazine, I asked for it to be added to my poll service. When I went to pick up my poll service today, I, I grabbed what was there and then I saw this on the shelf and I and I picked it up and I said, man, I wonder why they didn't pull a copy of this for me. Uh, and then I saw another comic. I'm like, man, I, I, I could have sworn I asked them to save that for me as well. So I added it. When I got home, I noticed, yeah, all of those were pulled for me and now I got a bunch of duplicates. So I've got two of these. <sighs> but they also previewed this, which also came out today cover of the Fantastic Four. Alex Ross has been doing the covers of all of the issues of Fantastic Four, and when I saw this cover in Previews Magazine months and months ago, I said, this is the most horrific looking comic book cover I've ever seen in my entire life. I need to have this, and I need to find out what have I been missing in all of these issues of Fantastic Four. So I read a little bit, and it turned out everybody I, pretty much um, is loving this Fantastic Four series. So I asked my comic store guy, uh, this would have been like four months ago, I said, hey, can you get me, uh, can you add Fantastic Four to my pull service? And can you get me like every back issue? And uh, he said, yep, got them, put them in your box. And I was like, whoa, we had them all on stock? Well, I went in and got them. And yes, he did, except they weren't the Alex Ross covers. I, so I got every issue, but none of them have the Alex Ross covers, except for, you know, starting four months ago, the brand new ones. So I get all the Alex Ross covers now, but what can you do? The new Fantastic Four cast has uh, just shown their faces <laughs> at San Diego Comic-Con over this weekend. Oh, okay, so what was it yesterday, the day before? I just posted the video, the Cthulhu Conundrum, and here it is today. I'm at the comic store, and look at this. Another new Cthulhu book. What in the heck? I didn't buy this. I flipped through it. It's all text. There's no pictures. I don't even know why it's on a comic shelf. I ain't buying it if it doesn't have any pictures. But yeah, another Cthulhu book. Well, that's it for now. See ya. Happy birthday, Wolverine.